Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amelia. Today we are going to set up the weekly spreads for October. If you haven't seen my previous video of the October setup, I will link it on the screen and in the description down below. For the first weekly spread, I am doing a very simple setup here. You can see that I'm just drawing these two big pieces of leaves and an acorn that I used previously in the October setup. The theme for this month is autumn or you can call it fall. Here I am putting the washi tapes on so I can get a clean edge after I color it. I think it is very satisfying to take out the washi tapes and see the clean edge after you color. It is kind of my favorite part when I was creating this weekly. I also put a caption for this video in case my accent confused you. I know my accent isn't very clear and I'm definitely working on it. So please turn on your caption if you are confused by my accent and you don't know what I'm saying. I uploaded a reel on my Instagram for my September flip through, so if you are interested, definitely go to my Instagram and check that out. Here I am just putting two washi tapes on top and take out the washi tapes on the bottom. Do you use a lot of washi tapes in your journal? Cause I feel like I bought like more than a hundred washi tapes but I feel like I don't use them enough in my journal. On the next one, I decided to doodle all over this spread. It is pretty simple but it took me quite some time. Here you can see that my hand was blocking the view of me doodling on the camera so I skipped some of the videos. I am drawing some boxes here. It is very spacious because I use it as my diary and will eventually fill all of this space up. I want to mention that it is your journal. You can use it however you want it to. I know the purpose of using a bullet journal is to get things done and I love the idea of it. I used to create a task spread for each week and use the weekly as my diary in the first month or so but I decided to make this journal as my diary. So that, you know, when I look back at a certain time, I know what I did in that day and how I felt about it. Cause you know, my memory is terrible. I am very forgetful, so this helps me to remember things that I did. I am putting different color on the doodles to make the spread looks more colorful. I am already thinking about what theme I should do for November. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave a comment down below. This is the finished look of this spread, moving on to our third weekly. I think I doodle a lot for this month's weekly, which I usually don't, but I like how all of this turned out in the end. I'm putting the washi tapes on for the same reason, so I can get a clean edge after coloring. Thank you. 
like I mentioned in my last video, I don't use this kind of color a lot in my journal. I prefer pastel, neutral, and lighter colors most of the time. This specific spread has been really out of my comfort zone, but I really like how it turned out at the end. And I'm just using other color I used in the previous October setup here, such as green, yellow, and red. If you've been liking this video so far, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week. This app is the most satisfying. When I took out the washi taste and got a really fine edge, it makes me feel like I'm in heaven. On the other side, I am just doing the same thing, put down the washi tapes and started doodling. I decided to put more than just leaves here. I put an acorn and a pumpkin here as well because it's October. I want to know what is your October theme. If your theme is different than mine, which is autumn, I will appreciate if you let me know what your theme is. I'm very curious about what other people are doing for October because it is the perfect month to do a fall theme. And I see a lot of other bullet journalists are doing fall for their journal in October as well. So I am really curious, what are you doing for your own journal if you are not doing autumn? So if you got a theme already, leave a comment down below and share it with me. Before I decided to do this autumn theme, I wanted to do a hot and spicy food theme, which I was really excited about because I love spicy food. But you know, I can't really draw, so I can't put my idea into action, and so I gave that up. I was thinking to put some peppers and some spicy food in the journal, but turn out it's really difficult for me to draw a hot pot and other food, so I decided to do this theme instead. This theme was inspired by the time I spent in the United States, cause the fall theme was really pretty where I used to live. You know, I don't know the COVID situation where you're living right now, but in Macau where I'm living, we didn't have any local cases at all since the beginning of the whole COVID thing. So everyone's life been pretty normal. All the cases that happened here were imported, and the government took those people into quarantine right when they got off the plane. So you know, that's why there's been no cases at all. But in these few days, there are some cases which are imported case. They pass the test a couple of times and only find out they have COVID on the third time when they did the swab test. And they infected their co-workers. As I mentioned, I am an elementary teacher and all the school has been cancelled now. I don't know if that is a good thing or a bad thing. I think you can't get the same result when you teach online, so I'm worried that my students will fall behind. But you know, on the other hand, it has been more relaxed for me and I'm not as stressed. I got more time to focus on my channel here and on my Instagram as well. I really want to make more good content to inspire people to learn and acquire more skills and I also want to get comments from you about how I can improve or how I can do better. So if you have any suggestions, please leave me a comment or you can just tell me who is your favorite bullet journalist and I will go check out their channel or Instagram and learn from them. 
If you haven't checked out my previous video which is planned with me for October, make sure you check that out later after this video. I'll link it in the description box. I really love how this page turned out. I think this is my favorite weekly spread of this month. It is super minimal, simple and pretty. I saw that my Instagram has been growing really fast. I gained more than 3,000 followers in 4 months, which I am really happy and excited about. So I decided to make a YouTube channel as well. Um, I majored in media and video production when I was in the university. So now I can finally use the skills and knowledge I learned from it. Which is really great because I don't really get many opportunities to make videos that much. This last spread is about Halloween because, you know, Halloween is on the last day of October. So I decided to use the last spread to celebrate. Can you say celebrate Halloween? I don't know. Um, but I really love Halloween. I love to dress up, um, go to the haunted house, go to hay rides and watch scary movies. But because of COVID, there is no haunted house or hay rides around, which I'm very sad about. Here I'm just doodling a pumpkin for Halloween and I doodle a spider and roll down trick or treat on the next spread. Do you have a tradition for Halloween where you came from? Like, do you go trick or treat? Do you dress up or go to parties? I want to know more about different culture on Halloween, so if you can let me know, it would be great. I love to go parties and dress up in Halloween. I love to see other people dress up as well. It's really fun, you know, it's, it, some people, they, they dress up funny and I love the idea of it. This is the final playthrough of the weekly. I hope you liked it. If you like this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also share this video with your friends and don't forget to check out my Instagram as well. I put the link of my October setup in the description if you want to check that out. And that's all for today guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye!